Hi, everyone, and hello to all the shining stars out there. Welcome to our Shining Stars program hosted by Kid Love, Love Peace. Peace. Hi, everyone. I'm Isis. I'm Max. I'm Avery. We would like we would like to welcome and one and all to Shining Stars program on Facebook and YouTube of Kids Love Peace Twenty. So for this evening, we have an interesting topic to learn. Very, very interesting. I just learned this myself. So have you ever thought of why do some people have a pleasant sounding voice? If we would like to have that. How does one get that attribute of having that sweet, pleasant sound? So based on our scientific knowledge right now, it is said that some people have their vocal cords like shaped to the frequency, like for the sound that happens to be pleasant to our ears. Now this shaping in our vocal cords is dependent on hormonal and genetic influence. Hmm. Genetics. So what's behind genetics? All right. So that's one side. On the other hand, Buddhist knowledge says that past life's actions, things that happened in your past before you were not this physical, but in the past affect the present life's attribute. Would you have guessed that your past life's actions gives a pleasant sounding voice in this present life oh, what do you think all right let's see raise your hand what do you think about that our voice is already was already here before we were in here go ahead and just say your thoughts about that i've never really thought about it. I never expected it to be already there i agree i, I totally agree with you oh go ahead max I think it's maybe like something that I might have did before, like uh, past events that I did something and now it causes different voices. I agree with Max. What do you agree with, Avery? Um, that um, it could be something we did in our past life. But how do we know, right? I mean, it wasn't it in our past. Yeah. What about you, Ming Kwan or Paxton or Lamina? Do you think our voice that we have right now is just developed because when we were born, this is just how we learn to sound and speak like? Or do you think our voice was something in our past, our previous life? What do you think? I guess this is not for me. I know it's it's a pretty complicated topic, but this evening we're going to invite Venerable Clint Kunacha Wool to reveal why do some people have a pleasant sounding voice. So based on Buddhist knowledge, please welcome Venerable Clint. Hey, respect. Hello, everyone. Hello, all you shining stars. It's great to be back. And yes, what a wonderful and very interesting question. Yeah, where does this pleasant sounding voice come from? Why is it that some people have it? Well, right with that question. One thing is to have a pleasant voice. It comes from merit. Bun. Bun is this good energy that we come that comes from our good deeds. And there are many ways of doing this, from generosity, giving, also meditating, as well as sharing good things. But one in particular, the merit that we did for, for such a pleasant voice, is actually from speaking good things. So for example, for example, you may have been teaching Dharma, teaching wisdom, giving good advice. These are all good things that help you to have that. Also, you could have been inviting people to do good. So not only doing goodness for yourself, but also telling people, hey, let's do it together. Invite them using our words in a way to help people do more good. 
So it's a nice, a nice town to come from it. Also, another one is they say that you may have been a singer when you were in heaven. What they mean by that is that while you're in heaven, you would always like to sing and share goodness with people. <laughs> yeah, like May says, oh, I love karaoke. <laughs> That's also a thing. Not only that, the good voice comes from also chanting, chanting and uh, and praying. It's a way of sending good energy in the in the in the way of sound. That's why when we chant, you'll notice that the sound of the chanting is very calming and soothing. And as we do this more and more, when it's time to finally speak, that calm, soothing power from within you comes out also, becoming a pleasant voice for everyone. So this is definitely ways that we can have that pleasant voice, practicing goodness, inviting people to do good too. And if it doesn't hurt to practice singing, <laughs> as if you're a singer, it really does help continue to add to that, that pleasant voice, as well as, of course, chanting. So, what do you guys think? So, it is kind of based on what you did on your past life, too, and, yes. and when you're singing. Yes. So, why they say it's singing in the past life? It's like, for example, some people are just very talented, and they had no formal training. Why is that? because you've been doing it many lifetimes. For example, myself, most people do not decide to be a monk at a young age. I liked it at age 10. And I knew when I was 10 years old that I would be a monk one day. <laughs> How many people do you know? They know for sure, I'm gonna be this when I grow up. <laughs> you know, it's because the monks have told me, I've been born and reborn so many times and be become a monk, so it felt so right. It felt right to me. Same with why are we so good at different sports, different instruments, uh, different ways of art. Why people can do this, why it's so amazing. They can do it with no one teaching them. They've been doing it many lifetimes. So that's definitely one way to help. <laughs> now, I, I, that's really great that you had mentioned that because I've heard something in the past about you have these young children who can suddenly play the piano no formal training these children who can suddenly have the ability to sing in an angelic voice it's like where do they get it from oh it's because they're a natural we can blame it on nature or they got it from their parents like i had put in the chat if some of you didn't get a chance to read it i just found out that my mom her, she used to sing, she used to want to be in a play in the theater. And my sister does that. And we're very animated. It's like, wow, we got it from her. How did that happen without me knowing she did all that? And it could be in her past life, she was also doing things, the same things from then until now. So a lot of the, you're right, a lot of the attributes, a lot of the traits that we've had in our past keeps continue, continue, continue. And I think it's a beautiful trait to continue to have, right? And we don't want to take our, our negative traits. I mean, it, it, it does follow us, but we have to hone in into the beautiful abilities that we have now. Mm -hmm. And just appreciate that okay. we have it now, but we all, it, it's been with us for a long time. So I'm, thank you for sharing since 10 years old. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And your voice is very soothing, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> As also, you'll notice that why people say that it's a trait that comes from your parents, because we were born and reborn so many times. We tend to go close to people who are always been close to us. So in this lifetime, they're your parents. In the last lifetime, maybe you were best friends. In another lifetime, maybe you were their parent. We switch off, and that's why we keep on meeting each other. And that's why when you meet someone, oh, this person's going to be a good friend. Or, I don't know why, but I need to stay away from this person. <laughs> that same energy. And sometimes we don't remember it, but you can feel it. It's this good energy within us. <laughs> 
So okay. we're going to do our meditation in about two minutes. Does anyone else want to share an experience you have? Something that you're like, wow, I'm really good at this. I don't know why, but I'm just really good. Something your teacher, your coach, your parents, your family member pointed out about you where they said, you have a knack for it. Go ahead and unmute your mic. You have something within you that is amazing. Something that you do all the time, but somebody else, they, they don't, they you don't have the natural ability to. So what is, we only have about a minute left. Okay. Your art. What about your art, Avery? I've been practicing, I've been practicing my art and my dad has been teaching me like different techniques on how to do it. I've been getting really good just naturally. So I would usually just teach myself and I became really good at it. Because yeah, exactly. um, when my dad was younger, he was like really good at drawing. And there you go. See, and they always say, well, where do you get that from? Sometimes you can say, oh, my father, my grandfather, my grandmother. Sometimes it's no one in my family draws. Well, how did you learn how to draw? It was your past life. Anyone else? One more. Want to share something, an amazing ability you have? Besides you're a superhero. I know you can't reveal yourself if you're a superhero. Oh, go ahead, Wilhelmina. Um, I'm really good at meditation. Like I just started meditating. My mom thought I was really good at it. I would just like meditate every night, like at my bed, like with my brother and my mother. My mom said I was really good at it though. Thank you so much for sharing. So now that we're now that Venerable Clint gave us an explanation for why do some people have a pleasant sounding voice based on Buddhist knowledge, we're going to begin our guided meditation. So Wilhelmina, I bet you're going to do phenomenal during these few minutes when Venerable Clint is going to lead us this evening into our meditation. So please welcome him again and bow your head down and say Namaskar. All right, thank you again, everyone. So now let's begin our meditation. Of course, comfortable meditation, position, everybody. Has, yeah, definitely get nice and comfortable because meditation has just two steps, relaxation and awareness. So first, be comfortable. Okay, there are many poses and positions, but simply sitting in your chair or on your bed is perfect. Be comfortable first. And when you're ready, gently close your eyes. Taking a deep breath. Breathe in the cool, calm, relaxing air. And breathe out all your worries, thoughts, and responsibilities. Just let yourself feel nice and comfortable. And as you breathe in, you feel that cool, calm, relaxing air. And as we breathe out, you feel lighter and more at ease. As relaxation is a very important first step, but don't force, don't push. Take your time. Meditation shouldn't feel like you're doing homework. It's more like relaxing and getting ready for bed. So let yourself feel nice and comfortable from the top of your head down to the tips of your toes. And as we practice, it's okay if you adjust. You don't have to be a statue. We are human beings 
it's okay to move. Because we meditate for inner peace, not Instagram. You can take meditation pictures another time. But right now, relax your body and relax your mind. To relax your mind, imagine your meditation object or your shining star. It's bright and beautiful, helping you feel comfortable, happy, and safe. This shining star is a wonderful friend, helping us be at ease. giving us back this wonderful calm. As being able to meditate is very much like a superpower. The superpower of allowing us to be able to be calm. In a movie that might sound boring, but when you use it, the calm is actually what every superhero needs before they can do their power. So if you want to be like a superhero, first thing we have to learn is how to be calm, to relax our body and relax our mind. When I was a kid, I felt it was boring. But because I did it, I went through school and it was very easy. It was easy to understand and pay attention in class. Studying became easier. And I was able to study get okay grades, and still have fun. So let's practice calming the mind. Just stay with your best friend, this shining star, floating in your tummy, bright and beautiful. and to help us keep that calm and relaxed feeling. You can also use a mantra, like a magic word, to help our mind be calm and peaceful. The one we like to use. Son Ma Continue in silence for just a little while, letting our mind be calm, clear, and peaceful.
Now, let us take in a deep breath. Very gently and at your own pace, opening your eyes. Take your time as we slowly come back. And taking a few deep breaths, do a little stretch if you'd like, as we slowly come back. How are you guys feeling? I think it was um, a really soothing and calming meditation, and I feel relaxed. Uh, for me, I felt like there was like a cool, it was like cool, calm, and then it was like peaceful, silent. Um, it was a pretty good meditation. refreshed and relaxed well done um i feel kind of peaceful it feels peaceful i feel like tired and like relaxed now i felt peaceful and it was really quiet and it was super like it was relaxing So as an adult, it does take, it takes a lot more patience for our bodies, for our physical body to get back into the comfort of silence. So as I was saying, your voice is very soothing. It's very pleasant and it does put you in a relaxation mode. So I feel very, very calm. And I want to thank, thank you all children for letting us know your experience. It's really important for our venerable to get the feedback from you because this is why, this is why he teaches meditation is to make the world a more peaceful place. So again, uh, thank you venerable Clint for leading the meditation this evening. Uh, did you have any last words for us, for the children? Yeah, overall, yeah, overall I wanted to say very good everyone. And I hope you all keep practicing. We just meditated for 10 minutes. But did it feel like 10 minutes? It went by very quick, right? That's the thing with meditation. If it feels long and feels like you're doing it and it's, I don't want to do this. Take a break. Open your eyes for a bit. It's okay. Because don't let meditation feel like homework. It shouldn't feel like homework. Instead, it's like you get to enjoy time with your friends. And that friend is your shining star. So I hope you all practice every day. That way we can continue to keep that peace, especially for yourself. And when you have that peace, it shares to your friends and your family. All right, again, let's uh, say thank you to a venerable Clint all together. And let's bow down. Thank you so much. All right, children, what would you like to say? Friends, don't forget to meditate as often as you can each week. Thank you for joining this evening and have a great week. Till next time. Bye. Bye from everybody at Kids Kids Love Love Peace. Bye. Bye.